up y'all it's Kennedy Simone and I am back again with another video and as you can tell from the title this will be a video about how I got accepted into Spelman College <laughs> okay so I'm gonna introduce myself for those of you who don't know me I'm Kennedy Myers I'm 18 years old from Shreveport Louisiana and I will be attending Spelman College in the fall you know shout out to class of 2021 you know yeah and hopefully I'll be a health science major with minor in music possibly I don't know yet <laughs> okay so I have some notes on my phone or whatever so I can not be all over the place and y'all won't be confused so yeah um I will be attending the illustrious Spelman College and Spelman College is a four-year liberal arts women's college in Atlanta Georgia and it is the number one HBCU in the country wow that's that's big so yeah, that's a little background about the school. So a little background about me as a student and a person in general over my four years of high school. Um, I've worked three jobs throughout my high school, or three or four jobs throughout my high school experience. I've done multiple community service. I've been in multiple clubs. I've been in lots of leadership positions. I've won lots of awards for different things. And I've also taken rigorous high school courses like honors, AP, dual enrollment, that kind of stuff. So that's a little bit about me, background, you know. If you guys want exact like clubs and scores and stuff, I'll make a separate video about that. So you know, just let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that kind of video and I'll do that. So a lot of people ask me why Spelman. Um, I chose Spelman just because I looked online and researched different schools that you know I would be interested in. I love the idea of moving out of my state, Louisiana. Although I love it, I wanted to move out of the state for college just because the colleges here didn't really interest me as much as other colleges. So I started looking in different places like Atlanta, California, DC, you know, different areas. And I've been to Atlanta before, not to visit Spelman, but I've been to Atlanta and I fell in love with the city. And if you guys don't know, I'm a singer, songwriter, performer, and I am pursuing my music career right now. If you don't know, Atlanta is huge for music, especially R&B and hip hop and that kind of stuff. And so I definitely like wanted to move down there, especially so I could be around that environment and just be motivated to do more and have more opportunities because to be honest in Shreveport it's not as many opportunities and I kind of wanted to get the city feel so Atlanta like kind of was the best of both worlds I still wanted to stay down south I wanted the city feel I wanted to be close to music so Atlanta was like the place so I started looking at colleges there and Spelman immediately caught my eye the number one HBCU I definitely wanted to go to an HBCU just because I just wanted to experience that life. Everybody who's been to an HBCU have always told me go to an HBCU. Whether it's this one, that one, go to one because it's a life changing experience and you can get it nowhere else other than an HBCU. So I definitely looked into it and I found different YouTube videos. I was watching so many YouTube. I still do watch so many Spelman College vloggers and youtubers just because I'm in love with that school so I went to visit the school and I immediately was like I have to go here like why what other school can I go to like honestly like seriously that's how I feel and I knew like you get that gut feeling like oh this is the place where I want to go and this is the place where I need to be so I got that feeling and I was like okay I'm, re I'm ready to I'm ready to go now like right now <laughs> but yeah so that's kind of like you know why I chose filming. So my admissions process was um, pretty easy I I would say just because I researched beforehand because I I fell in love with the school at the beginning of my sophomore year so I had been researching for two years um, up until the college admissions process so when the admissions opened they told us we had to apply on the Common App which is like this website where you can apply for multiple schools with one application. It is lengthy, but it's, it's definitely worth it, honestly. I applied to all my colleges that I wanted to go to through the Common App, and it was so, like, it was, it was so good, because I did not want to go to multiple websites to fill out this same application over and over again. So, it was just, it was really worth it. So, I recommend, I would recommend using the Common App to apply for your schools. If they're on there, because some of them aren't on there. So, answer multiple questions. I wrote my essay. I got my letters of recommendation from my teachers and my counselor. Um, so, I was set. Oh, I applied early decision 
if you didn't know. Yeah, that's like a binding process. So basically, you apply and if you get accepted and, you know, financially you're okay, then you have to go to Spelman. And I was fine with that just because I wanted to go to Spelman. But basically, you can apply that and you have to go to Spelman. The other one is early action where you don't have to go to Spelman, but you'll be in the early decision pool. If I'm not mistaken, you can't get denied in the early decision or action um, application pool. You just get deferred to the regular decision pool. So it's a really good chance. It's like you get two chances almost. So yeah, I was accepted December 19, 2016. I was so happy. I cried. And it was, it was literally like so surreal honestly I mean I knew I was a good candidate and I felt like I would get in but you know you never know so I don't know I just felt you know I was just kind of getting down on myself but when I got that letter boy I ran out to the mailbox and I started crying like I didn't have a video or anything because it was really like unexpected because multiple people told me like they got their acceptance like later in December I got mine the 19th and it was I think they said the letters would be sent out the 15th of December so I was not expecting it to be that early like four days after they sent it out like I was not expecting that so that was one of the best days of my life honestly because I've been dreaming about Spelman since sophomore year so two years and it's finally paid off honestly because I've been working so hard in high school all throughout my high school years just trying to be the best person I can be and the best applicant I can be so I definitely feel like I deserved it. So I'm just really thankful and blessed. I did lots of praying. Pray. Pray a lot. Because you're going to need it through those hard, trying months where you don't know what you're about to do with your life, basically. So my future plans as far as my channel goes. Currently, actually, I do music, lifestyle, fashion, um, and different challenge videos. So for the future, I plan on doing college vlogs and Spelman related videos and just college videos in general. So I definitely would like you guys to comment down below some video suggestions that you want me to do, whether it's related to Spelman, college in general, or just specific to me, Kennedy. And also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on anything because I think I'll start vlogging whenever Spellbound happens, which is Spellman's Accepted Students Day Weekend or whatever. So subscribe so you won't miss out on all the fun stuff we about to do on this channel. You know, hashtag Ken's Crew. That's what I call my supporters. Ken's Crew. We a crew out here, you know, that way. <laughs> but yeah, so also like this video. If you liked it, I plan on making many, many, many more college and Spellman related videos. And also, I would like you guys to follow me on my social media and check out my new single. It's called Make You Mine. It's my first ever single that I've released to you guys. And I would love if you hear it on SoundCloud or YouTube. Either one, I'll have them linked below. And it's playing in the background right now. So, you know, check it out. I think it's pretty bomb if I do six on myself. <laughs> So that is all for this video. I hope to see you guys in my next one. And I hope you guys have a great day. And see you guys in my next one. Bye. I will make you get down on one knee and make you scream.